Your back affects your daily health. Welcome to another installment of Your Spine, Your Health. Welcome to Your Spine. I'm Dr. Don, and this is all about Your Spine, Your Health. In our series, we've attempted to bring to you information that you can easily understand, easily relate to, starting at the beginning of this series with what we called C1. That was simply the first bone below your skull, the first cervical vertebrae. We spoke to you about the neck, made up of seven vertebrae called the cervical spine. We spoke to you about the thoracic or dorsal area, made of 12 vertebrae and the ribs that attach to it. And then we spoke to you about the five lumbar segments making up the bottom of the spine. Our purpose in this segment has truly been to try to bring to you information that we think is missing and critical to importantly help you live healthy every day. Every day people have spine and spine related problems, but the one thing that is always missing in that is the fact that it is the spine. So remember, what we've tried to tell you is that your spine is made of 24 segments, bone joints, really one on top of the other. And their proper weight bearing and movement is absolutely essential to help protect and help the function of the nervous system. Without the nervous system, it would just be a bunch of more bone joints like toes, knuckles, knees, and ankles. Important, yes, but the underlying importance of your spine, apart from giving you structure and form, is to be a channel and a protecting area of the vital nerves of our body. Nothing in the body functions without a proper functioning nerve system. Just ask your leg next time it's numb and tingly or your arm if you're having tingling in three fingers. Those are just two very simple examples of the function of nerves from the spine to a part of the body. Remember, there are more nerves in the body than just the one to your right arm or left leg. And that's one of the most important core messages about this series of the spine that we wanted to bring you. We want you to remember its prevention through exercise and movements, it's prevention in lifestyle and work habits and sports. And lastly, if problems arise and don't go away in two to three days, contact your family chiropractor, get an early diagnosis, get correct treatment, and get advice of prevention. This is all necessary for you and your family to lead a better quality and healthy life. For more information on any of the topics that we've discussed in the past 